only that, even the food world, we've already started animal free milk. One of the startups from Bangalore is doing very well. They've even started exporting it. Because when the world the requirement goes on increasing and you have less and less of land to actually fend for all these cattle and animals, this will be very handy. And tomorrow, maybe as uh, Reddy has arranged a refreshment for you after this, he might arrange a vegetarian mutton for you <laughs> or a vegetarian chicken for you because it started already happening. So, uh, maybe your uh, palliative taste, my buds may take some time to get used to it. So this is going to be a very fascinating time and in fact everything is going to be driven. It's not being easily realized but we are going to have it in every sphere of life, in plants, in animals, in life sciences. What Shubhanshu experimented over there about biogenesis is not something which is relevant only to this space. Of course, there they sit for two, three weeks, the muscles get wasted but it happens even amongst us. Of course, in diseases like type 2 diabetes mellitus or cancer, etc., it's already known. But even in common fractures, if you have a fracture of the lower limb and you're asked to confine to bed for four weeks, your muscles get suffered from disuse atrophy and then you are asked to go in for physiotherapy. So the strategies which are being experimented over there are also relevant to us on the earth. And as I said on the day when he came, what was tested would not be relevant to or useful only for the 140 crore Indians, but for the rest of the world as well. And therefore, I think those experiments which were facilitated by the Department of Biotechnology at the International Space Station, I think, are one of the earliest indicators of Vishwabandhu Bharat.